But uh, Jason, man, thanks for tuning in to us and uh, checking things out as the gates are down and we are into it here for 250 Pro Sport Racing. This is one of the big ones and Mason Gonzalez of the 93 who nailed the whole shot yesterday has got another one. Hey, Danny Coombs, we need you to the MX Sports office. Danny Coombs to the MX Sports office. He's probably out there Instagramming photos from the center of the track right now, but you're going to have to take a break from that. Mason Gonzalez has got the break. Two whole shots this week, wow. but quickly a challenge for the number 47 who goes right up the inside and is able to take the lead. Sorry, that is 41. Sorry, Megawatt, I need this uh, paperwork right now. <laughs> All right. Okay, so a good battle right now. Gonzalez manages to take it back in the Ten Commandments, so that's what you like to see. Some good back and forth racing early on here. Gonzalez trying to make a name for himself. He wants that guaranteed factory pro ride, and he knows a pr impressive performance this week could get the job done. He ran up front early. Oh, and Ryder down just tucks the front in those ruts. So some chaos here on the first lap. Chaos. That seems to be something we're unfamiliar with here at Loretta Lynn's, Jason White. Yeah, right. I mean, we, we never see a chaos of a moto, ever. And especially never any chaos in the sound department. That was Austin Black <laughs> who tucked that front on the 55. He's one of the favorites. He was up front yesterday in the other class. It's Jace Kessler on the 41 who was wrestling for the lead with Gonzalez early, but now taking over the second place position is Styles Robertson. He gets around Kessler on that 25, and he's going for the lead with Gonzalez. Well, as they come up nearly nose to tail across the uh, finish line stripe and lap number one incomplete, it's uh, Mason Gonzalez, Robertson, Jace Kessler now back in the number four spot, Chandler Baker in fifth, Jairi Mitchell is your fifth place position, Caden Niffing in sixth, Devin Simonson in seventh, Preston Kilroy eighth, Trevor Schmidt in ninth, and Nathan Augustin rounding out the top ten. What happened to our early hole shot award winner? Where's he at right now? I believe Austin, or was that in a different class? Austin Black got the uh, hole Black uh, was third early in this one, then tucked the front he's way in the back and i'm also looking for dylan schwartz who won the moto yesterday in the other pro sport class right now though your battle for the lead look at this down to the inside before the 10 commandments there is schwartz he is mired in traffic the 74 suzuki 19th on lap one Mason Gonzalez continues to hold off Styles Robertson for the lead. Another surprise, Barry Pack in the pack right now for me. The 25th place, number 43 of Colin Park. Uh, we saw some uh, great runs out of him last year and uh, was expecting to see and, and still expect to see some great things out of the youngster this year. Well, we know these first motos, and this is the first moto of this class. Gate picks are drawn at random, and that means riders often have to come through traffic. But even with a bad gate pick, if you're Schwartz, you want to be better than 19th on the first lap. And if you're Park, you want to be better than 25th. You're hoping to maybe get a 15th to 10th place start and then make some moves on lap one. But instead, they're going to have to mow through half of the field in this race. While meanwhile, Gonzalez and Robertson right here are pulling away from everyone else. The beauty of it is for Dylan Schwartz, he may be getting the, the, the bad start, to, but he is one of those riders that can salvage uh, positions after a bad start like that. It may take him a while to move up through the pack and get in position, but he is one of the, the riders that is capable of making quick passes, making fast moves up through the pack under normal circumstances. Woo! However, we are looking at a pro sport class here today, Jason White, yeah. and, and there is a wall that you're eventually going to hit. How far up is that wall here today? Gonzalez checking in with two down. Robertson still second, another 3.8 seconds back. Chase Kessler, Baker, and Jairi Mitchell, but look at this, half a second or less between Gonzalez and Robertson as they make their way into the whole shot. Wait a minute, Gonzalez, Bobbles coming out of that mechanics area. They almost swapped it two or three times. First, Gonzalez whipped it way too far over that finish line jump, managed to gather it back up. But after the mechanics area, he makes the mistake. Robertson to the lead, and Gonzalez going to have to deal with Jace Kessler, Chandler Baker, and Jair Mitchell as they head to the Ten Commandments. There's your leader, the 25 now, Styles Robertson. Gonzalez and the 93 made the mistake. There was serious pressure, and he cracked under it. 
Well, looking back to sixth place, Preston Kilroy, one of the better starts we've seen out of this rider so far here this championship week. And uh, with a sixth place start, it's going to be interesting to see what old Kilroy can make happen aboard that number 80 Suzuki. Niffing behind him, Simonson in eighth, Nathan, Nathan Augustin in ninth, and Jack Rogers now rounding out the top ten. Dylan Swartz has made his way up to a 12th place position now, so gaining several seconds, turning a 156.076. That's four seconds off the pace of Mason Gonzalez's fastest lap at a 152.135, and also Styles Robertson at a 152.158. But when you take into consideration lap traffic, Dylan Swartz is uh, really making some major grounds. Again, to see that he would make his way into a top five at this point is going to be a struggle, but if he can get anywhere close to that and how much in uh, moto points here is certainly going to better his chances and his odds heading into second and third motos. Watch Mason Gonzalez here had the lead the previous lap made the mistake good job recovering though second place and pulling back away from Jace Kessler the rider out of Michigan. We check back in with some of the Suzuki riders he just saw the 80 of Preston Kilroy that is six and look at this the 74 of Schwartz is into the top ten. We're at exactly how about ninth place position as uh, it is Robertson, Gonzalez, Kessler, Baker, Mitchell, your top five, Preston Kilroy still holding steady in sixth, Davin Simonson in seventh, Caden Nipping eighth. Well, he was. Yeah, Schwartz just got Nipping yeah, right there. I was getting ready to say, and Schwartz right there behind him, so that might not last long. And like I said, he's fast. A 152 uh, lap time in that top ten right now, and eighth place, Nipping was turning at 157. Simonson was turning at 154. I'm going to have to think that Swartz is knocking on the door at number 70 here next and pretty quick. We should see another battle develop here on lap number four with Dylan Swartz laying chase to the pack here. So in a lap and a half, he has come from 19th to 8th. And next on his list might be Kilroy or Simonson, as you mentioned. They'd be the next two riders up the road. Our leader continues to be Styles Robertson. Then it's Mason Gonzalez, Jace Kessler, Chandler Baker, and Jair Mitchell. Top five. There is uh, Chandler Baker on the number 50 machine. That's your fourth place ride. Looks like uh, he's trying to track down uh, the 41 of Jace Kessler now as we head out into the big sandy sweeper turn and making that hard lefty right back into the heart of this race course now. We'll give you a quick top 10 rundown brought to you by the folks at Thor and Parts Unlimited. It's Robertson, Gonzalez, Kessler, Baker, Mitchell. Preston Kilroy, six. Simonson is seventh. Niffing, or sorry, Schwartz made the move on Niffing. He's eighth. Niffing is ninth. Nathan Augustin is tenth. Then it's Jack Rogers, Austin Black, Anthony Rosemeyer, Vincent Luhovi, and Trevor Schmidt. That's your top 15. Brought to you by Thor and Parts Unlimited. Styles Robertson checking in with four complete now and a four second lead over the 93 of Mason Gonzalez. Another five seconds back to the 41 of Jace Kessler. And looking at what was a half second battle back there to Chandler Baker. Looks like uh, things, well, yeah, it is a half second lap uh, battle right there. Still more for the number 50 on Jace Kessler. Jairi Mitchell is fifth place. Preston Kilroy six. Swartz is seventh. He's now two seconds behind Preston Kilroy and running a two second faster lap time. Remember last year, the old RM Army, the Suzuki boys, making some noise with fast laps. They ended up getting squeezed out and not winning titles last year despite winning motos. Now you've got both of them, Kilroy and Schwartz. You see the both, the 80 and the 74, following each other through traffic. Right now, sixth and seventh. Terrible start for Schwartz in this one. He might have even gone down to be 19th at the end of the first lap. But here he is in the 74. He was the fastest man in the other pro sport class, open pro sport yesterday. Can he at least salvage a top five or even potentially a podium here in Moto One? I want, the title. I want you to take a look at something right now. Last time around, Dylan Swartz turned a 150.910. The fastest lap was turned by Pre uh, Styles Robertson at a 150.5. He has a free and clear racetrack ahead of him. Well, they're caught the 22 of Jair Mitchell, the KTM rider, and they're swallowing him whole. It looks like Kilroy goes by. That was a good battle for a couple corners. Now Mitchell in the Suzuki sandwich. Schwartz on the Bar X Suzuki team right behind Mitchell. Mm. Mitchell at a Bermuda. Wow, good corner speed on the exit. 
and able to go from outside to inside is Schwartz. He's just going wherever they aren't and making passes. Oh, speaking of passes, look, ooh, will he make this with Sticky? He has the outside coming into this final turn. There is Kilroy making his hard lefty right now into that, uh, I believe now, number five position. Robertson, Gonzalez, Chase Kessler, Chandler Baker, Preston Kilroy up to the number five spot. Dylan Schwartz is sixth as he does make the pass that time around. And look, even turn still a 151.9 in that battle and in that uh, traffic out there in that sixth place position. Jairi Mitchell in seventh with a 155 lap time. Kate Nipping eighth. Nathan Augustin uh, dropping off a couple of spots as Austin Black moves up into ninth. And now Jack Rogers rounds out your top ten. All right, we'll give you that top ten rundown as Roddy just did. All brought to you by Yamaha. Styles Robertson and the rock star Husqvarna leading the way. But our eyes are on these two, Kilroy and Schwartz. Can they catch the fourth place rider, Chandler Baker? Yes, they can. There he is with the number 50 right in front of them. Hey, look at that Colin Park up to 14th place position just to give you an idea of what's going on for that rider. Working on Vincent Lahobe for 13th place position and just ahead of that, Anthony Rosemeyer only uh, well, a little less than a second ahead of 13th and 12th place right now. So uh, going to be interesting to watch to see whether or not Park's going to be able to bridge the top 10 by the time these checkers fly out here. And a little bit of lap traffic for the duo of Kilroy. Oh, Kilroy off the track momentarily, gets back on. So that's going to help Schwartz. Now Schwartz looking to make a move on his fellow Suzuki rider. He's on the outside. Wow, made that look easy. That did. That looked very easy. <laughs> I was anticipating this big battle, and he just went right by him. So Schwartz opening some eyes this week. Well, you know, yesterday, uh, Ricky Garmichael was talking about breaking points and acceleration points being a little different in the uh, amateur to professional ranks. The one thing that you got to realize, that's where your corner, that's where your speeds come from. That's where you pick up those times. Late breaking, early acceleration, and things of that nature. And I he think just did that, it again. Yeah, we're, just, <laughs> we're, we're watching Dylan Swartz perfect that here today, I think, is what we're witnessing. He goes by Chandler Baker, so 19th on lap one. We are up to lap six, and he is fourth. Dylan Schwartz, and this is all a championship salvage, has to get himself in position to win other motos. Oh, no! Feet off the pegs and down goes Schwartz! Oh, what a heartbreaker. Just getting ready to pose the question, did we think he might have enough time to, to put himself in a podium position finish to go from uh, just uh, right there in the top 20, barely, to a podium spot, but now it looks like not even Moto Prons may be something that is going to be able to work with. We take a look at our rapid replay here on RacerTV.com. Well, obviously the ruts are so deep out here. Actually, yeah. I don't know if that was the rut that caught him. I think he might have just had a foot come off regardless. Yeah, yeah I think I think he just he, he was on the throttle so hard. Uh, just a split second uh, mental miscue maybe for his his left foot, and it got caught on the ground, jerked way out, and, and then there you go. He goes down. But uh, regardless, uh, Swartz, I don't know that that's necessarily going to slow his pace down. We're going to see his lap time slow down a little bit, but that adrenaline rush might actually quicken his pace as we check out Styles Robertson still rolling in the 150 mark. That last time around, he turned to 150.4. His fastest was on lap five with a 150.28 three and before that was on lap like two or three with a 150 point like four or, or, or five or something like that so styles robertson's got some major league consistent lap times there in that 150 mark that's the first time that he dropped out of the 150s he's in the uh, 151.7 and this late in the moto i don't think it's that big a deal that he does something like that because uh, like we all well know man he's got things uh, seemingly dialed in right now and looking to take uh, home the win in moto number one of this 250 pro sport. Well, Gonzalez. we got it. We got it uh, mixed up here. We didn't have our sheets. This is actually moto two of 250. Oh, oh. So now we got Robertson sitting on it a two, two one. If it ends like this, he was up to second yesterday. <laughs> and so that's nice. where the real killer is for Schwartz. He had fought his way up to fourth. Probably was going to try to battle Kessler for third. That crash puts him back to seventh. It could be lights out for his championship hopes. You can make two mistakes. You can make one mistake. You can't make two. The bad start, one thing he was able to overcome that. Might have right. been able to get a third. A 1-3 wouldn't have been bad. Still could have controlled his own destiny going into the final moto, but that's not the case. If you go down, as he did, check back in with him on the 74. Won the moto yesterday. Seventh now. And there he is. 
And the problem now, later in the race, the gaps are big. He's got a long way to go to try to get to Jair Mitchell, who he passed earlier in the, board, in the moto, trying to get him back. Styles Robertson, you mentioned that consistency. The 2-1 might get it done. So this doesn't start the second motos. This is just the second moto for 250 Pro Sport. The, the order of Pro okay. Sport is I, thrown I just in. Wanted, no, does, yeah. I just wanted to make sure that I wasn't way off base here thinking that we were still in moto one and we'd somehow or another switch to moto number two. But it is just 250 Pro Sport moto two. <laughs> All right, so I'm just trying to get on the right page here. So Robertson now in the second moto of 250 Pro Sport Class Racing. Styles Robertson out front, uh, 8.4 seconds. Now 8.6 seconds over Gonzalez. They're running pretty, they're staying pretty consistent on their lap time. So we see Robertson dropping to near 153 now, and, and rightfully so, and should be able to do so. Gonzalez in the number two spot. Jace, Gus, Jace Kessler, the 41 in third place. Preston Kilroy in fourth place. Uh, Chandler Baker should be rounding out our top five still in that sub two minute. But Jairi Mitchell also back there turning a little faster lap times. The last couple of laps at a 156.3 drops to 157. So that gap remains pretty steady, about three and a half seconds for Mitchell in that sixth place position. Uh, again, looking at that name, Dylan Swartz, what a heartbreaker for that rider. It battled so far up well outside the top 10, 19th place position when he finished lap number one. I don't know how far back he was off the start. Right. Working his way through the 20s into the top 19 there. Working his way up to a fourth place position there nearly and then washing out and well his feet coming off the pegs and uh, he basically got chugged off that bike and falls back but gets back up, pushes. He's back up to a seventh place position so uh, depending on what Moto 1 scores were like, you know, it, it might not turn out as bad as what, what we were expecting or anticipating. I don't have any of the, we might be able to pull it up online though here real quick just to give you an idea, but uh, eight laps into this one, regardless of how Moto 1 went, this second Moto has been pretty exciting, Jason Wygan. That is the 22 of Jair Mitchell, who would be the next in line for your first Moto winner, Schwartz, to try to get. And the way this shakes out, we'll have open pro sport Moto number 1 coming up today at 3 o'clock. This is the second 250 pro sport Moto, the third 250 pro sport Moto coming up uh, quite a bit later in the week. It'll be Friday at 2 p.m. So we have a 250 Pro Sport Moto yesterday and today, and then they'll come back of a day off Thursday and race again on Friday. Okay. Well, uh, that, 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 uh, now that I know the schedule, we should be good okay, to go. That's a hey, two lap, two lap board is out on this one, Jason, right. and one of us uh, can head down there. I, uh, thank you very much. Uh, Robertson in the number one spot after nine. Uh, again, eight and a half seconds. We're not seeing any changes hardly whatsoever. Robertson now in that 153 and a half range. Gonzalez running consistently in the 153 and a half range. And Jace Kessler now, uh, third place, uh, consistently running uh, in that 155 range. We see it drop back to a 13 and a half second difference. Preston Kilroy, though, you know, we were watching Swartz and his move up through the packs. Uh, Kilroy is now inherited, in, in a sense, that fourth place position after both riders getting around Chandler Baker there a few laps ago. Baker still in that number five spot, but Kilroy still running it below the 155 range. Again, he, he posted a 152.7 as his fastest. The last couple of laps been right there in that one. 54, 154 and a half. It's been about a second, maybe or so, faster than Jace Kessler, and that gap is shrinking. We're down now under three seconds between the third and fourth place ride in that final Moto Bronze here in Moto Number Two of this 250 Pro Sport class. Jairi Mitchell, another rider we're keeping an eye on. If you're watching Racer TV at home right now, uh, we're seeing that uh, Jairi Mitchell trying to make some gains, it looks like, as they roll through the Storyland region of this race course. We see Chandler Baker also uh, out there on the number 50. Under that pressure from Jairi Mitchell, there is uh, the 80. Is he, well, did Kilroy drop back as he's trying to regain position? I, oh, no, actually, I, he's, he's right behind Jace Kessel. That's ah, Kessler. There we go. He's moving up to the third place position, and that's what I was kind of anticipating, but I thought the way I'd seen the camera bouncing around, I'd seen 22, I'd seen 50, I'd seen 80, and now I finally see 80 and 41, but we finally got it. This is the battle that they were looking yeah. for. This is the battle for the third place position, and look at oh. that! Mercy! I don't even know that Jace Kessler felt that pressure. He didn't even have time man, to feel the no. pressure. I mean, uh -uh. Kilroy came in like an assassin's bullet, man. I mean, it was so it quiet. He snuck right on through him before he knew it. Man, 
Preston Kilroy, or, or excuse me, yeah, Ke Jace, Preston, yeah, yeah, sitting there, and he, Chase Kessler sitting there with the, basically his head in his hands where it just got blown off. Exactly. And he didn't even know it was coming. Oh, no, and he used that speed, that momentum, and like you said, silently come up there, hit the gas, and he, he just left him. Dude, that was as a precision <laughs> of a... a he's fishing. He did, he fishing, so he fishing. I mean, the guy, the third place didn't even have chance to feel the pressure. There was no Preston defending. Kilroy just shot right through there. That was impressive right there. Styles Robertson still leading this in 10 seconds over Gonzalez. Preston Kilroy now up to the number three spot. Jace Kessler in four. Chandler Baker in fifth. Jairi Mitchell six. Dylan Swartz seven. Uh, again, man, I, I am totally psyched up for what Dylan Swartz has as far as talent the rest of this uh, championship is concerned. Even with this seventh place run, he's we should see him. He's about four seconds faster than Jairi Mitchell, so we should see those guys wheel to wheel if they can do it before the checker flags fly. We got the white flag out on this one. Colin Wow. Up to a ninth place position. Remember, he was all the way back in I yeah. think it was 24th place at the end of lap number yeah, one. Yeah, he was back there. Yeah, and Colin Park now in a solid top 10 in ninth place. Jack Rogers in 10th. Varese in 11th. Nathan Augustin in 12th. Vincent Lahobe in 13th. Caden Niffing in 14th. Anthony Rosemeyer is 15th. Brandon Walder in 16th. Cody Groves in 17th. Devin Simonson in 18th. Bradley Asper in 19th. And Braden Lessler rounding out your top 20. This top 20 breakdown brought to you by your good friends at Arma Sport. Be sure and follow along on Instagram and, and also uh, Twitter and find out more about that. And also, don't forget a great supplement program for your training regimen, our good friends at Arma Sport. Styles Robertson in now with the 11 laps, and that is a checker flag as the win is in for Styles Robertson taking the motor win. Mason Gonzalez in second, and how about it for Preston Kilroy? Uh, wow, third place position. And Jace Kessler in fourth, uh, looking for Chandler Baker to cross the line here in the number five spot. Nope, that's Dylan Swartz. He gains two on that last lap. And again, a press. I'm telling you, uh, Swartz is going to be, he's going to be coming from gunning for blood in Moto3 in this one. Jairi Mitchell in sixth. Chandler Baker in seventh. Austin Black in eighth. Call it Park. Let's see. Let's make sure this is how this is going to finish. Uh, then we'll throw it down to uh, Jason in the fights. There's uh, Jairi uh, Baker, Austin Black, uh, Colin Park in ninth. Jack Rogers rounding out the top. Actually, Colin Park in eighth. Then it's Colin Park and Jack Rogers. Now we head down to Jason Wygant as we uh, got that top 10 seated there for you. Jason? Yeah, thank you, Rodney. We are ready. Styles Robertson now sitting on a 2-1. So that's certainly good for him and the Rockstar Husqvarna team. I'll hustle him on up. Let's also you up there. We'll give him a gold. And looking good. I didn't see a wheel wrong out there for the number 25. So how about it, the man of the Rockstar Energy, Husqvarna. Let's hear it for Styles Robertson. Well, I didn't see any mistakes. Was the moto as smooth as it looked? Yeah, it wasn't bad. Um, when Mason made a mistake, I knew uh, just riding smart, I'd be good. And uh, yeah, honestly, I just <laughs> honestly was riding like I was having fun. I think if you link stuff together here, it's fast. You know, you almost got to trail ride it. And uh, I think I did that pretty well, that moto. But uh, yeah, it was pretty good. Okay. Uh, championship, man, looking good? Yeah, just got to put myself in a position off the start. This bike's a rocket ship, so uh, I'm not too worried about that. And uh, yeah, just be in the position and uh, listen to everybody that's uh, giving me advice. Okay. Who do you want to thank, Styles? The whole Rockstar Energy, Husqvarna, <coughs> WP, Fly, Arrow, um, Garnet, Scott, um, my agent, Lucas, my whole family for coming, uh, Wes Nairn, everybody, and uh, Dunlop. Um, Everybody at the Baker's Factory watching. Um, Scuba, Murph, just everybody uh, with the team. Thank you guys so much. Let's hear it for Styles Robertson. We'll bring our second place finisher and our Stasic Hole Shot Award winner to the podium. And we'll get Preston Kilroy third in a moment. But right now the runner up. And certainly consistent to two podiums already in this class. So he's right in the mix going into the third moto, which will run on Friday afternoon. Let's hear it for your Stasic Hole Shot Award winner, your second place finisher, Mason Gonzalez. Yeah. Good stuff, Mason. Head on over to the mic. Well, you definitely got the starts dialed. Yeah, yeah. Got off to a great start again. Those double tires are looking up great. 
Uh, yeah, just made a little mistake, stole the bike after the mechanic carry, and uh, says Tyler's get away, man. He, had, he was riding really, really good, so um, yeah. Do you feel you're riding better though than the uh, first moto? Oh yeah, way better. Definitely uh, loosened up a little bit. Was feeling uh, way better. Uh, struggling with uh, set up a little bit and um, made some adjustments to it a lot better that moto. So gonna come out swinging the next moto and uh, try my best. Yeah. All right. Who do you want to thank? The whole Rock River Yamaha team. My dad, my mom, my whole family, everybody at MTF. My mechanic Jake, uh, Thor, Parts Limited, FMF, ODI, uh, Alpine Stars, Bell, 100%, uh, Monster Energy, everybody else. Thank you. Mason Gonzalez, everybody, with your Stasic hole shot. And one more rider to talk to. We got the Bar X Suzuki team, had two fast riders in this one, and one of them makes it up to the podium. We will bring Preston Kilroy on up. Head on up there, Preston. And a bronze medal in this one. As always, 250 Pro Sport is stacked in up on the box. That's a good ride. Let's hear it for the Suzuki man on the 80, Preston Kilroy. Good stuff, Preston. You had to make some passes come through traffic. Tell me about that moto. Uh, yeah, I got off to an okay start. Um, kind of made a mistake off the start, but I made it work and came around the outside and passed a few people and then somehow ended up in fourth and then just kind of slowly worked my way up to third and then, yeah, it's a good moto. All right. You feel better than you did in moto one? Yeah, for sure. I got in a crash in moto one, so big step for, from there and we'll take it. So thank you. All right. Who do you want to thank? Uh, the whole Bar X Suzuki team, my mom, my dad, Fly, 100%, um, Henson FMF, just everyone, thank you. There it is, our third place finisher, Preston Kilroy. That's good stuff, we'll send it back to the tower.